Do you wanna become a VTuber, but maybe you don't know how to start? I'm gonna show you how you can become a VTuber and start streaming with the Hyper Desktop application. This is a super easy way to get started without a bunch of plugins, and the best part is it's free. So you can experiment with VTubing before making a commitment. If you have questions or wanna join our VTubing community, please join our Discord. And if you want to follow our social links for tips and tricks on streaming, I'll leave that in the bio too. If you're familiar with Hyper already, it started as a mobile application. It lets you record videos, stream to Twitch or YouTube, and customize a VTuber avatar on your mobile device. You can also import your own characters as well. However, there's been a lot of demand for a desktop application, and the time has finally come. Let me introduce you to Hyper on Desktop. This is currently in beta mode, so we'll be constantly updating with new features. If you want to try the beta and it's not out yet, you can follow us on Instagram or TikTok and we'll be releasing codes every few days. First, you're going to need to download Hyper on Desktop. You can do this via the Steam Store or the Mac App Store. I'll leave the links in the bio. Once you have downloaded the application, you are going to log in. If you have a Hyper account on your mobile device already, log in with the same account. All of your settings should be synced, including your avatars, backgrounds, and props. If you don't have an account, just make one and log in. And don't forget to keep your login information somewhere safe and secure so you can come back. On the left-hand side, you'll see a few tabs like Home, Avatar Builder, Settings, Webcam, and OBS. Let's customize our avatar. Head on over to the Avatar Builder. To create a Hyper Avatar, click New, then Customize Your Avatar. You can choose different hair, tops, accessories, and if you want to get more gems, you can purchase more gems with the plus button at the top. You can also get gems by being gifted, and there's other ways to earn gems and coins in the application. Once you've customized your avatar and you feel pretty good about it, click apply. Now you're going to take a photo. You can scroll in to zoom, left click to rotate, or right click to pan. If it looks good, click the save icon. This will be the icon displayed so you can recognize which avatar you want to select. When you go to your avatar builder and if you click change, you will see all of your different avatars here. You can create so many of them and use them interchangeably super easily. It is going to be the background of your stream. You can choose a color, choose from one of our community backgrounds or from the import section. For the imports, currently you do have to upload the backgrounds from either our mobile application or our asset manager on our website. Head on over to our website, log in, and then on the left-hand side, go to My Assets. Here, you're able to manage all of your assets like your avatar, your background, and your props. Once you've uploaded your items on web, it'll sync up on the desktop application. All right, now we're gonna choose our background color and the flare color. Click Save after you've chosen. Now let's head over to your settings, and this is where you're gonna be able to fill out your profile. The profile will be super useful later down the line to interact with other VTubers or to link out. For example, if you want other people to check out your VTuber profile. If you have a bigger or smaller screen, this is where you can also set the resolution. And if you're ready to start streaming, click the webcam and OBS button. Now let's set up our stream together. On the bottom, you'll see a few different icons. The first two icons are for emotes and poses. You can set custom emotes to easily switch between them during your stream. This is where you can add props to your stream. And don't forget to use the asset manager on mobile or on web to upload your own props. The third icon is if you want to add a piece of media. This is great if you're trying to make an overlay or if you want a photo in the background. You can also use the text tool to type in anything you want. I'm going to write follow for more streaming tips. And this little pencil icon is how you draw on your screen. This is super helpful for presentations if you want to circle something or if you want to show people how to do something. And don't worry, if you don't like your drawing, you can always click trash. This is the camera setting. You can easily switch from portrait, body, or full body mode. The sparkle icon will give you effects. For example, a vignette effect which makes your avatar pop out a little bit more. Hidden chroma key will set a green screen, blue screen, or magenta screen behind your avatar. This is great if you're using Hyper Desktop alongside another application such as OBS. It allows you to take away the background and do things such as collaboration streams or key yourself into any background. The picture icon with the little cursor on it is arrange mode. 
In this mode, you can easily move all of your assets on the screen around. Turning it off will lock everything in place. The little person icon with the square around it is the motion capture input. You can set your camera to your webcam if you're not using your default camera, and you can also toggle face and hand tracking on and off. If for some reason Hyper stops tracking your face or your hand, you can toggle these on and off and it should reset. Please note that we are working on hand tracking for imported avatars which will be coming soon. Finally, once you're ready, click Virtual Webcam and start the webcam. If this is your first time enabling Virtual Webcam, you may have to configure your system settings and allow Hyper. You can do this in your system settings, securities, and privacy menu. And after you do all of this, you might have to restart Hyper and the application you are streaming to. If you're using this with Discord, Zoom, OBS, or other third-party software, and it is not detecting Hyper, you may have to restart that program as well. Now that virtual webcam is on, you can use it with any other program and it should detect the Hyper camera. For example, I am using it with OBS and all I have to do is import a source and select Hyper. On Zoom or Discord, you do the same thing. Go into the settings and select Hyper as your camera. It is so simple to use. You can use this to stream to Twitch, have meetings on Zoom and Discord, and so much more. We're working on porting our other features to the desktop application, but for now, if you want to record some VTuber videos, you can always use our mobile app. Thank you so much for supporting us and see you next time.